Hello my friend, today we will summarize one of the most beautiful books in history. Let's go. Ron de Burns self-help book, The Secret, refers to the secret of the law of attraction. A popular pseudoscientific theory that states that the human thought process has a direct effect on the outcome of encounters and events in the world. In her book, Byrne applied this theory to various aspects of life, explaining how she believed it would constitute a program to address any problem. The ideas that form the background of the book, as well as the book itself, have been called pseudoscience by members of the scientific community, which fall within the New Age and New Thought genres of popular philosophy, beginning in the early 20th century. Bayern Munich explains the law of attraction. In its colloquial form, like attracts like, it assumes that our thoughts directly make up our lives, because ideas are rooted in the energy that makes up the universe. The remainder of the book forms Byrne's personal account of the secret. She sometimes refers to quotes from scientists and naturalists, such as Albert Einstein, Carl Jung, Ralph Waldo Emerson. In support of her thesis, Bairn starts his argument from the axiom that everything in and around us is made up of energy, down to the level of an atom. Therefore, energy is the building block of everything we see and experience. Then Bairn stated that energy is vibrational and transmitted at different frequencies. In this way our thoughts are magnetic and attract and repel various frequencies. When we have an idea, it travels from us to the surrounding universe. Byrne compares this to the transmission tower, which sends and receives the radio frequencies that carry the information with which it builds more complex things. Byrne asserts that similar frequencies are attracted to each other, whereas people and events that vibrate like us naturally attract us. He argues that it is as simple, neutral and predictable as Isaac Newton's law of gravitation, and does not care whether an individual knows or believes in his existence. Byrne provides examples of categories of thought to which the secret applies. The first two are good and bad ideas. Although the law of attraction does not distinguish between good and bad thoughts and does not care whether we want something or not, it distributes the waves that we emit, thus attracting the things of desire. Byrne claims that most people are primarily considering denying their desires. For example, a person who wants to be rich thinks about the ordeal of being poor or middle class. Instead, she argues that people should think about what they want and start a positive feedback loop. Byrne discusses the classifications of conscious and unconscious thought, borrowing from Freud's system of organizing the human mind. He warns that the law of attraction is not only valid for the conscious thought, but also for the subconscious. For example, if we wanted to be rich, we might say that we want a lot of money, but have reservations or unconscious doubts. The universe also takes these energies into account to inform their results. Byrne cites a study whose results appear to show that the average person has about 60,000 distinct thoughts a day, most of them assimilated. All of these ideas make a lot of topics to work on as we try to be aware of the energy we offer. Byrne argues that once our thoughts are restored, we acquire a tool that speeds up progress toward the things we desire. Byrne concludes his analysis of the applications of the law of attraction with examples of how to attract desired relationships with others. First, he affirms that we must live ourselves. Most people adapt to putting self-love at the end of their wish list and highlighting mental thoughts that give off negative energy. A hallmark of self-love is that one treats himself the way he wants to treat others. Second, Byrne asserts that we must recognize our love for one another, even for strangers. People who complain increasingly attract negative energy, and combine it with others who are thinking negatively. Finally, Byrne urges her fans to make sure their actions are in line with their desires. If we act as if we already have what we want, we will gradually realize this model without worrying or despair. Although far from science, Byrne's book makes a logical leaps about the nature of the mind that contradict many contemporary ideas drawn from irrefutable evidence. It makes a compelling argument similar to the karmic arrangement of Eastern religions. More recently, 
she applied the idea of karmic energy to the resilient and chaotic modern world, introducing a rule book that she hopes her audience will learn to live with. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click like.